Coming to the common reactions, most vaccine reactions as explained by your doctor are very minor events and are usually mild and short lasting and most of the instances these do not need any special treatment. First thing parents are always worried is about the local reaction that is swelling or redness around the injection site. This swelling is most commonly seen with DPT vaccines which are given in 6, 10, 14 weeks and very rarely seen with other vaccines. If such swelling happens, keep giving massage at the injection site at least 3 or more times in a day. And the next thing you can do is applying heat because this will increase the blood flow to the area and decrease the pain and swelling. To do it, use an electric pad or a warm cloth for at least 10 minutes and repeat as needed. If you prefer, you can also apply cold but avoid direct contact of the skin with ice. To do it the right way, Take an ice cube and rub it over your palms. Apply this cold icy water on the affected area with your palms by gently patting on the injection site. When your baby feels a little comfortable with the cold sensation, wrap an ice cube in a clean cloth and apply it over the area. Do this at least 2 or 3 times in a day. My dear parents, remember directly rubbing an ice cube on your baby's skin which is already inflamed can make the experience more painful than providing any relief. So, please avoid direct contact of ice cubes with your baby's skin. The next thing is medicine for pain. Try not to give any medicine because this may reduce the body's normal immune response. Vaccination pain very rarely becomes severe and if really needed, use paracetamol as per your doctor's advice. But if these symptoms do not resolve or if you are concerned, please contact your doctor. And thanks for watching.